A couple new things that we have here at the Tossing Salad Podcast Studio for our live. Our video actually is a little different for those of you that have seen our lives and video shoots before. I think it's a lot clearer. I kind of like it a lot better. So we have moved away from using, I'm going to show you guys. This is my Canon 5D Mark IV. This is my workhorse that I use for my business, all the photography and video shoots that I do. And I was, I had rigged this up to use as my primary streaming camera for the tossing salad podcast a couple problems with using this you would think well that that's awesome that's an expensive piece of gear and you should get some great video with it well anything that that's like this it's not just plug and play you just you can't just hook it up and it just works you should but you can't canon as much as I do like their gear and stuff, their software sucks. You can't just hook up a DSLR to your computer and start streaming. You have to use Canon's, to my knowledge, I, I may not know everything, but you have to use Canon's proprietary software to unlock the streaming features so that you can use your DSLR as a streaming camera. Well, they're not gonna give that to you for free. Well, they, they, they do, but you're severely limited in what you can access video wise, quality wise, you know, everything now is HD 1080, you know, movies, all that stuff. You're looking at 4k, but pretty much for streaming it's 1080. And so if you're, if you're doing any kind of lives or streaming, uh, any kind of video work you, at the at the bare minimum, it, you, it'd be nice to do some HD. Well, to get the HD unlocked using the Canon DSLR, you've got to pay to get those features. And at first, when I was getting all this stuff hooked up, that, that was fine because I was like, I I have this camera, why not use it? And I can have all these lenses at my disposal. I can get the best quality video. Uh, yeah. Well, you have to pay $50 a year to unlock the software to where you're able to stream 1080p. And the problem is when you when you deal with Canon on a software on the software side of things, not the hardware, not the camera stuff, but on their software side of things. And you're working with a Mac and you know, if you have a Mac, you get these updates, these updated security features pushed to you every so often. And whenever Apple and iOS, or not iOS, but their OS were to push out an update, the Canon software would break. And you'd have to do either some workarounds or wait for Canon to get around to fixing it. Well, software is not one of Canon's biggest strong suits. They just don't, they, for whatever reason, they don't put enough uh, resources behind keeping their software updated. And so the, one of the very last updates that Apple did back in, I think early December rendered so many Canon cameras, DSLRs, unusable for streaming because Apple had pushed through a security feature that, long story short, Canon had to update their software and get it to work with Apple. And going into February, people were still complaining that it wasn't fixed. They hadn't patched it up yet. They haven't updated it yet. And so if you if you were streaming, if you're doing a lot of live shows and you're doing podcast recordings and you were dependent on your DSLR to work all the time, it's it's a roll of the dice whether or not your Canon camera, the software, and Apple OS were all going to work together no matter the day. 
So I was like, I, I, I've got, I've got to get away from using my cannon. Now, the second part of all this is because my studio, like this was my streaming camera for the podcast and for lives. But when I had to actually go out to do my business, my work, which I'm a photographer, a videographer, I had to break everything down and it's not difficult to do, but it's just, it's a pain in the ass that, you know, you get everything set up, you get the the angles all right in the studio, and then you got to go do a, a, a photo shoot. You got to go do something. My thing was, I, I've got to get away from the DSLR. I've got to go to a dedicated streaming camera, which is what I did. Went to a Logitech, the uh, brand new MX Brio shoots up to 4K if your your uh, like stream yard once they go up to 4k we'll be ready but i can already tell that the 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 video quality here is so much better 